Hey guys, welcome to my first video I'm putting on this channel. Um, I'm just going to be doing a small build really quick. Um, I acquired quite a few of these little compact D51S's. Um, they're just a good little 2.4 GHz Pentium 4 computer. Um, as you can see, I got some uh, memory there I'm putting it, a uh, DVD drive for movie playing purposes, and uh, there's a Seagate Barracuda, it's a 1600, or, uh, 160 gigabyte drive, it's uh, 7200 RPM, so it should be pretty quick. And there's a Sound Blaster RG2 card that should make it sound pretty good. I'm going to be using this as a music PC to, to go right over there. As you can see, I got the connections already for it. It's going to go right on top of my stereo there. And yeah, let's get to it. So the first thing you want to do is that there's these uh, clips on each side. You're going to pop that one and pop this one. And then this whole section comes off. Alright, and then what you're left with is just a open case here without a CD drive or a hard drive. See, I got some matching sticks of memory here. They're just uh, 256 each at uh, 333 megahertz. There's a PC2700U. Should work pretty good. We got that Barracuda drive here. I get to focus. There we go. And then just that DVD drive. So let's get to putting this thing together. First thing I'm going to do is just get the this riser out of here. Uh, just kind of lifts out of there like that. And then you can see in here you have two expansion ports there. And then what you're going to want to do is I already did this, but just take out that screw and then you'll it'll be a little filler there. You just take your card, line it up right, and make sure everything lines up down there. Make sure button push down. And there we go. Then I just gotta put that screw in. Screws in. Ready to go back in the computer. Alright, now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and get the RAM installed here. Let's go ahead and put something in there to wedge it up while we to use Mr. CD-ROM drive here. Let's go ahead and wedge it up there so we can get access to the RAM slots. There we are. And then you're just going to want to take each one. And I did match these. They are 256 megabyte sticks each. And you just want to make sure that the notch is facing the right direction. And then go ahead and slide them in there. Go ahead and get a good push down. To get click and click. Perfect. One more. So then this machine will only have 512 megabytes of RAM, but shouldn't be too sluggish. Um, I do have happen to just have an extra copy of Windows 7. So, and from my experience, that seems to be working better on some of these older machines than uh, XP would. But yeah, it's all installed. And let's get to installing that guy. First thing you're gonna want to do is put some your screws in there. Make sure they're nice and tight. On some cases, you'll find that they have extra screws for you to put on your hard drive or CD drive here, DVD drive. And you, for this case, you basically just set it down in there, let it slide in, and push back a little bit, and it's locked in there. We can bring it up now. We got our audio in case you're playing a CD in there. We got our parallel cable here. Put that guy in there. And you do want to make sure your jumper settings are correct. If they aren't correct, your CD-ROM drive will not work. Um, just go ahead and check the case here, and it should tell you exactly what to be looking for there. Yeah, there we go. You got your uh, cable select, slave, and your master. And now I have it set as cable select, so basically it's the first one on this cable, so it automatically be the master. And there's no other drives in, or CD drives in this computer, so it shouldn't be a problem there. And we just gotta grab our power cable here. Come out 
from under there. Go ahead and plug him in. And we still got one attachment there for the, for the hard drive. Alright, now it's just time for the hard drive. We just gotta plug those two cables in. And then I already put some little standoff screws in there, so then they'll drop right down into these little locking tabs here. So let's go ahead and get that guy in there. Now, I couldn't actually find the right screws, so these are just a little bit too long, but they do work. So, I'm just going to go ahead and set them down right in there. Pop in there for me. Perfect. Go ahead and let that guy up, and it should be locked in there pretty good. And then you just take your parallel cable here, go ahead and pop them in. And then we've got a power cable. I'm going to take the power cable and plug it in. Alright, and we are basically done. We've got to take our cover and put it back on. Because I know this thing's going to work. You know, it's always going to prove it the first time for me. Put that guy on there, and we should hear it. Click and click. Both sides down. Perfect. Alright, guys, we're back over here on our bench. You can see I got it set up there. Haven't started it up yet, and right now it's just running off of uh, that computer down there. That's uh, my main computer there. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to switch it over to the VGA mode and start it up and see what happens. Let's go ahead and try that out really quick. So let's see, we got to go ahead and swap that and power this on. We can catch it during F10. Oh, dang it. F10 for setup. Shoot. Oh, there we go. So I guess I got it in time there. Alright, so let's just go in here and see what we got. Let's see if we got that to uh where are we? System information. Let's see, we got five hundred twelve megabytes of RAM, that's good. We got a Pentium 4, 2.4 gigahertz with a five hundred and thirty-three megahertz front size buffs there. And yeah. Looks pretty good. So now uh, I just got to get Windows on there and see what happens. So, so far so good. Alright guys, so here we got Mix all loaded up. And I'm just going to go ahead and select one of these songs here. Hopefully one I'm not going to get flagged for. It's really hard to do this to the viewfinder for some reason. Got it queued up there. Play that. And then, let's go ahead and... Try my stereo here. Got the equalizer going. Looks like it's all ready to go. Looks like it's doing its job. Perfect. I think this may have been just a rip off of YouTube, so I don't think it's playing at the highest quality it can. Um, but otherwise, the system does sound pretty good. I do need to get some uh, subs in it though, so it's something a little deeper, so I can take more advantage of this equalizer here. But not too shabby. All right, guys, stay tuned for more and uh, for some more computer videos and such. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on uh, some you know, just general computer projects. I'm going to be building a wooden PC, just like a PC with a wooden case. It's not nothing too fancy, just basically the motherboard mounted on it type thing, and um, get that all set up for you guys, and hopefully make a pretty interesting video. Alright, well, hope to see you guys next time, and stay tuned.